Yesterday, there was a massive story that came out of the sports world. Um, and it was one of those moments that, like, I was just going through life and I got a, an alert that kind of jolted me. And of course, I'm talking about the situation that happened with LeBron James's son, uh, who is known as Bronny, uh, having a medical emergency. There is no news bigger than the news about LeBron James, his oldest son, the news that came out just over an hour ago, and it is terribly disturbing news out of Los Angeles. Bronny James, who is going to be a freshman basketball player at USC, suffered cardiac arrest while at a practice yesterday. Um, it was a shocking situation, and I want to talk about it here today. Now, as a reminder, I am Elliot Connie. I'm a licensed psychotherapist, and in this series, Therapist React, we talk about the mental health aspects of uh, news stories from how it impacts society, culture, and the people within the story. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on social media, like this video, um, and um, before we get started, I want you guys to do that and help support uh, this channel. Now, I want to go into this story. Before I do, I want to make it very clear, I am not a medical professional. I am a licensed psychotherapist, but I am not a medical doctor. So I'm just going to talk about the parts of this story that are relevant, and I want to respect the the James family's uh, privacy. So um, what happened was LeBron James, LeBron James' son, Bronny, was at practice uh, for basketball. He's a freshman at University of Southern California, known as USC, and he was at practice and had cardiac arrest. Um, and luckily there was medical staff there to address it immediately. They put him in an ambulance, took him to the hospital. He spent some time in the ICU and is currently stable at home. And I think that's a wonderful and fortunate thing. If you're old enough to remember, uh, there are two situations that are similar. Uh, there was a, a basketball player named Hank Gathers who played at Loyola Marymount uh, University, uh, I believe it was in the late 80s, and he had a cardiac arrest event at practice. And the doctors put him on some sort of medication that he experienced as making him sluggish. So though he recovered and resumed playing basketball, he didn't enjoy the feeling of, of being sluggish so he stopped taking his medication and then um, passed away on the court uh, on television. It was, it was one of those things that just kind of shook up the world at the time. Um, and then there was another player, another basketball player, a guy by the name of uh, Reggie, um, Reggie Lewis, who used to play for the Boston Celtics. And he had a cardiac arrest event. And um, at that time, he collapsed at practice. He was, he was practicing alone, so there was not medical professionals there. By the time they got to him, he had passed away. So before I say anything else, I'm so glad that there were people around uh, Bronnie James to address whatever it was that, that has happened. And um, he is now alive, he's still alive. Um, the thing that stands out to me, the thing that, that I'm aware of is kind of a couple of things. Number one is, he is one of the top basketball prospects. He's 18 years old. He's the son of one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He is one of the top basketball prospects um, in America right now. And his whole future of playing basketball is uh, what he's been geared to do. And now that might be gone. Now, I want to, I want to be clear here. I'm not speculating. The, they, they do not know, or at least have not released uh, what was the cause of this event. But I do know, and I've been reading all morning in preparation for making this video, I do know that there are certain things that happen to top tier athletes. Like this man is very, very healthy. And like when you work out to such a hard degree, there's like a thickening of the heart walls apparently um, that make these, these kind of events happen. There's an unpredictability of them that make these sort of events happen. And uh, there are prominent doctors saying that this might be the end of his basketball life. Well, there are a couple of different uh, scenarios that could have played out here. One is what we called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is basically a thickening of the heart muscle. We see this often in elite athletes, uh, as well as sometimes with certain genetic uh, 
predispositions. Second scenario is what happened to Devar Hamlin, what we call uh, commotion cordis, where somebody sustains a hit to the chest. Mm. It's timed perfectly during the cardiac rhythm that it sends you into cardiac arrest. And the third possibility is a genetic arrhythmia, so abnormal heart rhythm. It's hard to look at all this in perspective, but honestly, when an athlete has cardiac arrest, you kind of have to put their sports on the back burner because this is something that even outside of playing professional basketball, even just running around with his friends, playing pickup, exercising on his own, still makes him likely for having cardiac arrest again. And so you have to consider just intervening, discovering what happened so that somebody can have a safe and healthy life. The sports is sort of a secondary thing at this point that has to be an afterthought once they try and hopefully find what exactly caused this. And, I, and I'm, I'm so glad that there's still life, like he's still alive, he's still with us. But um, Bronny James and his father, LeBron James, and their whole family, there's a very, very big decision that needs to be made about his future as an athlete. And I think sometimes, you know, when, when we lose our biggest dream, um, that can have a psychological impact on our lives. And, and as a father, um, LeBron James, as to be able to support his son uh, through this difficult time. And I, I don't know anything about LeBron James that tells me he won't be in a position to do this. Uh, but it just makes me think how often fathers and mothers are in a position where they have to like parent their children through really, really difficult things. And this will be a really, really difficult thing for uh, the LeBron James family. Um, this will be a really, really difficult thing uh, because like uh, looking right now, like a popular doctor um, went into detail, made a video going into detail about what causes the heart to stop and how this could be the end of his basketball journey. Um, I mean, this is a big deal, man. Like, the heart stopped. And luckily there were people there to revive him and bring him back. But um, the, heart, the heart is a very sensitive thing. And, you know, I've said often that I think part of what is wrong in our society and our culture, we don't value life enough. And I think we should value life to the highest degree. And um, I'm so grateful and so thankful that this young man survived this incident. But my heart goes out to the family because they're gonna have to deal with some very difficult choices going forward. And they're gonna have to do so extremely publicly. I've already seen some conspiracy theories. Elon Musk has already kind of insinuated that this could be related to the vaccine. Um, but let's listen to the doctors. Let's listen to the medical professionals. Let's allow this family to have privacy and allow them to listen to the doctors and medical professionals. And let's understand that even though LeBron James is a mega superstar, and Bronny James is also a bit of a superstar as well, um, there's still a hard thing that this family has to deal with and there's a hard thing that this family has to go through. So remember, these are human beings before they're anything else. And um, let's just be supportive of this family at this time. So um, my heart goes out to the LeBron James family. My heart goes out to this young man, Bronny James. I know that there are hard hard times ahead and hard things, things ahead. Uh, and when I saw this story, that's immediately what I thought about, a father and a son. I think really often we see these stories and 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 people are, are commenting in, in these sections and in the comment sections of these videos and, and stories and it's just it's unbelievable. But this is a story about a father and a son who has a dream of being an elite basketball player. Uh, but it's also a story about a man who is alive today that um, could not maybe wouldn't have been. So I'm grateful he's alive. I'm appreciative he's alive. I, I think life is really, really important. Um, but this is a story about a father and a son and their family, and we should not lose sight of that. So I would love to hear, and that's, when I saw the story, I immediately remembered uh, Hank Gathers and Reggie Lewis. Um, and I would love to hear your comments. Like, what did you think? of this story what did you think of this video leave a comment below um and and leave kind comments and 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 let's not throw out conspiracy theories and let's not be negative i really really want to create a culture of warmth love kindness and uh compassion and stories like this 
are, are prime opportunities for us to deliver that. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. Please leave a comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media. Uh, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time we post a video. We post a video every day of whatever is a common story. And I'm going to share with you the mental health aspects going on as we did today. So thanks for watching this video. Love you guys so much for supporting me and this channel. And let me know your comments below. Can't wait to read them.